again. So I wanted to go over my November favorites. And to be honest, this month, I think the winter, it's been kind of getting cold. And this month, I've kind of been feeling myself being less super plant motivated. I kind of feel like I go through these almost like stages. And when it's springtime, I'm spring, summertime, I'm all about plants. And then usually in the winter time, I start to focus on other hobbies, which actually I think because it's partially because I get a little burnt out on plants, but then it also works out because, you know, you don't really want to be watering or messing around with your plants too much in the winter time. So it ends up working out for my plants. Um, but sitting down and trying to pick out my favorites this for this month was a little bit hard because of that, because I haven't been super plant focused or haven't been I guess watching many of my plants, but as I was kind of walking through my apartment today, I realized I do have some that I have been really excited about this month. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started and I'm gonna start smallest, biggest like I normally do. Um, and the first one is going to be a Hoya. It is Hoya Okumianga, or I think that's how you say it, and it's, um, and it's variegated, Hoya Kumianga variegated. And this one, I think it is such a cute little plant. I am so obsessed with like how small its leaves are. And when I got it, it only had maybe, I think it had like these leaves, maybe these ones, I, I can't remember, but it's given me a lot of growth and I've only had it for about a month now. So it's given me like um, at least this month's growth since I've got it, gotten it in the last month. So it's growing really fast, even though it's variegated. Um, and it's little leaves are just so cute and pretty. Um, and this leaf right here, that's just almost always so pretty. But yeah, I'm really, I'm excited to have, um, I think I am going to take cuttings of this and, um, you know, put it, pot it back in here to get, make a more full pot. But like, it's also crazy too, cause it's going, um, you know, it's sticking straight up. It's not like really leaning too much one way or not one way or the other. Like it doesn't seem like it's going to hang very easily. Um, and it's pretty sturdy. You can kind of see me knock it about, but, um, I don't know if I want to, you know, put this on a trellis or if I'm wanting to um, have it be trailing down. Um, I haven't decided yet. I think it would look really cute trailing, but I feel like it, it would grow better on a trellis, but it's growing so well now that, I don't know, I feel like it'll be fine just trailing down. So we'll see. I have... I feel like a trellis takes up more space and right now I'm kind of running short on space. So I will probably end up letting it just trail for the time being. But yeah, Hoya Kumi Yanga, I, I forget how to pronounce it, um, variegated. Um, next is another Hoya. Um, and it's my Hoya Australis Lisa. And this one is all my favorites because I finally, it had, if you watched my Frankenplants video, you would have seen that this plant had, um, actually, let me get a light because I feel like, is the lighting okay? I guess the lighting's okay. Um, I, this plant had, um, Oh my gosh, not spider mites, mealybugs. This plant had mealybugs on it. And I have this, this one's in my favorites because I got rid of the mealybugs. It's finally like, I waited a month before I put it out in with the others because I there have been times where I've thought I've gotten rid of mealybugs and I haven't. Um, so I, I haven't seen mealybugs on it for a month now. So I put it back out in the open. So. It's been, now it's probably been like seven weeks. I haven't seen mealybugs on it. So, I mean, I think this is a beautiful, beautiful plant. Um, but 
the reason why it isn't my favorites for this month is mainly just because I did get rid of the pest. But yeah, look at these leaves. Ooh, these leaves are so pretty. I think they're so gorgeous. This one looks a little deformed and I don't know if that was just because it was battling with some pests. Like I definitely, it did, it hasn't been growing super well and it, you know, had dropped some leaves. And I think that was just because it had pests, but now that doesn't, it should be doing, it should be doing, it should do better now, hopefully. But yeah, my Hoya Australis Lisa. We have my Peperomia maculosa, and if you can see, it has three new leaves on the way. Um, so I have heard this guy takes a while to um, get some new growth, and I can't. I don't know how long it's been since I got him from Equigenera. I'll put it uh, down, but yeah, we got three leaves coming out, and they're super bright and vibrant. And yeah, I'm just, I'm shocked that three came out at the same time. And um, here's a look at a regular leaf, just for reference on how dark it is. So it is pretty striking to see how uh, light, limey green these uh, are coming out. But yeah, I'm super excited to see how as they, and there's kind of a little bit of a fuzz on them. Actually, let me see if I can show you. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to capture the fuzziness or not, but. Yeah, this is the little Peperomia maculosa with its three new growth points. And next up on my favorites is um, is another Peperomia, and it's I forget the name, but it's like beetle. I think people I think people call it the beetle Peperomia or beetle leaf Peperomia. But I had this guy like hanging in a hanging basket, kind of just like on the side so he kind of just like hangs off like this and he's getting longer and just like growing so well for me and there have just been there have been times where I haven't watered it very well like right now it definitely needs to be watered um, but it's still growing like even like can you see this baby growth baby leaves let me do this there's some baby leaves coming on the way at the ends here um, and you can see them there and yeah I just I love this plant so much I think it's so beautiful I love the striping on the leaves and how it trails I think it's just striking and I don't know the the color green I think is so pretty it's it's like a I guess a yellowy green that's not that different from you know most other plants but I don't know I think it's so pretty I love it so much. I can't wait for it to just get longer. It's pretty bushy already, um, but I might end up taking some cuttings and putting them maybe back back in here. Um, there is some new babies coming out. If you can see, there are some babies in there. Um, but yeah. Another, another cute little Peperomia. <laughs> Next is um my part my pothos marble queen and she is on my favorites because she's reached the top of the pole um and her leaves are just getting so big uh let's see if i can kind of show you a reference but for my hand this is my hand um and this actually is is one of the the newest leaves. This is the newest leaf on its way. But there are quite a few, you know, vines going up this. So it's super, super bushy. And there's also this 
one little guy trailing down right here. Um, I hope you can see. I think, oh, the lighting's not very great, but I hope, I hope this will be okay. Um, but yeah, we got like one little guy hanging off here and I just love the look, the look of him. He's just got, I don't know, he just got like a cool little vibe going on. It's so pretty and bushy. Um, and some of the leaves on the back are definitely more like marble, like kind of snow queen vibes. Um, but, and this vine that's trailing down is kind of reverting just to be green, but I'm okay with the variety. I think the variety helps like with the contrast of all the colors and adds to it. And then lastly is this guy right here. It's a Monstera and it's a Monstera like morphological sport. So um, there are, let's see, right here. If you can see, there's like this sectoral wrinkly part of my Monstera. Help there, like right here. It's like this sectoral wrinkly <laughs> area. And from here, it gave me like, which leaf did it give me? It gave me, ooh, it gave me this leaf, which doesn't have any of that sectoral wrinkled. It is, is like more textured and wrinkly than I would say a normal monster, but there's no like, sections and then from that one it gave me this which is not very textured at all and you don't see any of that like sectoral texturation that's even a word um so I was worried that like it was kind of losing that and on the old baby leaves you can kind of see it's textured too so I was worried it was just losing it but um the newest leaf that is coming out right now and I'm I'm gonna try to be as gentle as possible because I don't want to damage a new leaf. But um, I hope you guys can see that. It definitely has, um, I might just take the camera. Let me see. Um, okay, here we go. You can see this new leaf. It definitely has like a sectorial textured and like this little wrinkly boy right here. Like, so he is definitely going, it's definitely not gone, it's coming back. So I'm very excited about that. Um, and I cannot wait for this leaf to harden off and to see how it turns out and looks. Um, but yeah, he definitely made it into my top for November. He just spit that leaf. He's been working on i've been seeing that leaf this leaf coming out for quite a bit now and i was like yeah it's just gonna be regular like especially after seeing this leaf it's just gonna be a normal regular monstera leaf so when he, i did kind of peek at it and see there was the texture on the leaf i was so excited so this is probably the one i'm most excited about this month because it was definitely a surprise to me um but yeah i hope you uh enjoyed this video and enjoyed Seeing some of my favorites for the month of November um, and I hope you all have a great week